Hi everyone, my name is Lance Crandall. I'm a senior program manager on the Intune and Config Manager teams. And I wanted to walk you through a new feature that we have uh, that we're adding to the 1605 technical preview that gives you the ability to pre-declare devices by IMEI or serial number. And the benefit of that is what happens is once those devices enroll, they'll automatically be tagged as corporate. Now the benefit of having corporate devices automatically tagged during enrollment is that you may have created collections uh, based on that attribute, whether it's a personal device, you might have some BYOD devices or even uh, corporate devices. And you may have different policies or applications assigned based on whether it's personal or corporate. So one such example is that you may only want to allow uh, access to your corporate Wi-Fi if it's a corporate device. So you could create a Wi-Fi profile and target that to the uh, corporate owned collection. And then at that point, once these devices that you pre-declare in this node that I'm showing here uh, get enrolled, they'll automatically get that profile, whereas your personal devices will not get those uh, get that Wi-Fi profile. So let me walk you through this. Uh, if you go under assets and compliance and all corporate owned devices, you'll see there's a new node here called pre-declared devices. And here, what you can do is you can say create pre-declared devices. There's two different options to import your IMEI or serial numbers. The first one is to upload a CSV file and I'll show that one in a minute, but first I wanted to walk through uh, manually adding IMEI or serial, serial numbers. Now, one other note here is that serial numbers currently can only be added for iOS devices. So if you have an Android device or a Windows device, you cannot import by serial number here. It's only for iOS devices. So what I'm gonna do is click next and I have the ability to manually enter an IMEI number here. So we'll just add a bunch of numbers here. We'll pick our operating system. This lets us know whether uh, we can support iOS serial number or not. So we'll just pick uh, Android for this one, for example. And then I can add some details. Now this detail fields is kind of cool because what you can do here is add any information that you want and you have quite a bit of uh, space. So you could tag these devices. Let's say you knew these were going to a particular department or we're in a particular country or you wanted to put an asset tag that's unique to your organization, you can put that in here and then uh, later you'll be able to filter on that data. So right now I'm just gonna make something up, my details, and we'll click next and go through the wizard and we're done. So now if I refresh this view, I'll see that I've got a device in here. Um, and once this device actually does enroll, it'll automatically be uh, tagged as corporate. And this will change, uh, this enrollment status will change as well for the device. So <clears throat> the other thing that we wanna do is be able to import iOS serial numbers. And as part of that, we need to assign an enrollment profile for those. And these are usually uh, DEP devices. So I've already gone in through and created a, a basic profile here. This, this experience already exists uh, prior to six, the 1605 technical preview. So I'm not gonna walk through that again. It's the exact same experience, but we have made this a little bit different here. So now if I come to pre-declared devices and do create device, pick manual again, and we're gonna add an iOS serial number now. So if I just add another serial number here, And we'll pick, I, you'll see that we, it tells us that we can only import by, uh, if, it, if the OS is iOS. So we're gonna pick iOS here, put in some more details, click next. Now at this point, since I've only created one profile, it's automatically assigning that profile to this device. If I had multiple profiles that I created, I could come in here and actually pick it for all of the serial numbers that I have in here. So this is kind of a new thing that we've merged. Uh, this, this view used to be under uh, iOS here on the side, but now we've merged this into this pre-declared devices wizard. So it's all kind of condensed now. So if I come through here and finish the wizard, you'll see that um, I've now successfully imported another device by iOS serial number. And if I go under enrollment profiles and say assign to devices, I'll be able to see that that new device was automatically assigned to that profile for me. So it's more of a seamless experience that you get now uh, with this new feature. Now, the other thing that you can do is let's say you have a lot of serial numbers or uh, iOS uh, or IMEI numbers that you want to import, uh, you can create a CSV file. <clears throat> and the format here, we've, we'll have it documented for you, but essentially this first column here in your CSV file is the IMEI number. The second column here is the serial number. Then you need to pick the OS. So it's either gonna be Android, iOS, or Windows. And then you can put some details in. Now details is not required. You don't have to put this in if you don't want to, um, but it's just a, an extra field that gives you kind of the ability to do some uh, some tagging if you'd like, and some filtering later on uh, that you'll get in the devices view once the device actually enrolls. 
So here I have a couple different fields here. I've got an IMEI for Android. I did not put a serial number. In this one, I'm kind of tricking it. I put Android and have a serial number, um, et cetera. So what I'm going to do is now do the import again using CSV. So we'll browse to the file that we created. It imports all those devices. And you'll see here, this one's actually going to be an update to that because I've already imported one that had um, some information here uh, for IMEI. So if I could make some changes here and it'll update the existing record. And you'll see in this case, I have an IMEI number and a serial number, but I picked Android as the operating system. And as I mentioned before, you can only import iOS serial numbers. You can't import a serial number for Android or Windows at this time. So this just essentially tells you that um, since you've got a valid IMEI number, we're going to ignore the serial number field when you do this import. And uh, in this one, I've actually got the set to uh, iOS and a serial number, so that should import successfully. So if I click next here, I'm going to see that I've got um, a device with a, a warning, essentially. So I can continue if I want. Um, even if there's errors, it just kind of tells me that some rows might get rejected or some data may not get imported. All right, so in this case, you'll see, again, this is the profile selection screen. If I had more than one profile, I could select a, a different profile for this device if I wanted to. Um, we'll click Next and finish this up. And you'll see all those devices are now imported. Um, you'll also note that the IMEI number that I had imported previously now got updated with My Details 3. So this is essentially the um, pre-declaration feature that we are adding to 1605 and it gives you the ability to one import iOS serial numbers and assign those to enrollment profiles that you wait, you may have and in addition to that you can import IMEI numbers or serial numbers which will tag those devices once they enroll as corporate devices which gives you a lot of flexibility to assign different policies to corporate uh, corporate devices versus personal so I hope you enjoy this feature and uh, check it out in the 1605 technical preview and let us know if you have any feedback thanks a lot